Hey everyone, Sean Tierney here from theautomationblog.com and in this video I want to show you how to find out what firmware revision is loaded on your PanelView Plus. Now to start, you have to begin at the PanelView Plus configuration menu and this is the menu that shows up automatically when you take a PanelView Plus out of the box, brand new, and plug it in. It also shows up if you hit the go to config button on one of your project's uh, displays. That'll take you there as well. Now, if you're stuck, you don't know how to get here, you don't have a go to config button anywhere in your project, then uh, watch the previous video in uh, this series because I cover that in gory detail. But in any case, so let's assume you're here, you have to go to configure menu, and you want to find out, hey, what firmware revision is this panel view plus I'm working on? Well, you start at terminal settings. And from there, you want to scroll down and select system information and then click on the enter key. Now from here, you want to choose about factory talk view ME station and click on enter. And then here is where you'll see the firmware revision. Now some notes about firmware revisions. This is pretty important. First, newer firmwares support older MERs. And what I mean by that is if you have a PanelD Plus runtime application, an MER file that was created for version 3.1, that will run without issue on a PanelView Plus with version 5.1 installed. And the same is true with the PanelView Plus 6 and 7. Now, keep in mind that the PanelView Plus, the original PanelView Plus, only goes all the way up to 5.1, whereas the PanelView Plus 6 started at 6.0 and goes up to the current release, and the PanelView Plus 7 started at 7.0 and goes up to the current release. Now also keep in mind, if you're going to try to use an old MER file from an old PanelView Plus on a PanelView Plus 6 or 7, those models do not support all of the communication drivers or communication hardware that the PanelView Plus did. For instance, the PanelView Plus 6 does not support remote I.O., does not support device net, and also does not support control net scheduled. And the PanelView Plus 7, well, it only has an Ethernet port, so that's all it's going to support. Also keep in mind, if you have a compact version of the PanelView Plus, like a PanelView Plus Compact, PanelView Plus 6 Compact, or, and I don't know why they changed the name, a PanelView Plus 7 Standard, which is still a compact, then you must create the MER with that setting. Otherwise, if you create the MER as being for a full-blown PanelView Plus and then try to run it on a compact model, you're going to get an error message saying it's not compatible. So keep that in mind as well. And now I have a question for you. Did you find this video helpful? If you did, please let me know by liking the video. And if you'd like to see me produce more free videos like this on YouTube, then please let me know in the comments. In fact, if you'd like to help me reach my goal of making all of my videos ad-free, then please visit me over at patreon.com forward slash automation. For as little as $1 a month, you can help me towards reaching my goal to make all of my videos and the automation blog completely ad-free. And with that said, that's the end of this video. Until next time, peace.